Well, the, I think the benefit is, look, I've been doing this for even longer. You know, I, I started my own blog, um, boy, back in the early 2000s. So I've been experimenting this uh, with this one way or another. Um, and Ford kind of uh, realized in late 2007, early 2008, that this was a strategic imperative. So the position was created by the executive team. Um, so I kind of came to the company five years ago with that mandate uh, to, uh, to lead in, in social. You know, Katie Payne, who uh, is a PR metrics uh, guru uh, just up in New Hampshire, she talks about um, outputs, outtakes, and outcomes, right? How are we measuring for those three things against the communications or um, marketing efforts that we put forth? You know, to, to measure how many retweets you get or how many likes you get, that, that's a disposable number. You know, when you think about like, comment, and share, the three things that you can do with any piece of content on Facebook, the like is the minimum commitment you can get from a fan. It's like a digital grunt, right? Like this, uh. Well, a comment, well, that takes a little more effort, but share, see, that's the magic because you've actually given them a piece of content that they're now proud enough or engaged with enough to want to put on their own timeline. We're thinking more and more about how do we tell our story visually. And as a global company, and we're building global platform cars that look the same all around the world, it's really easy to create an image that appeals to someone emotionally. And, and look, we all have the same human nature across the world. Even though we speak different languages or have different cultures, we care about the same thing. We're actually um, kind of uh, recasting the die around uh, our content team and making them all extremely well informed based on trends, based on search terms, based on the things that people are talking about. And I'm not talking about real-time marketing. I think that's an overused term and an overused concept. But you need to stay relevant. You need to be aware of the world around you. And it's not about inserting yourself awkwardly into conversations. It's just about being part of a community. If you really want to be effective at this, you need to understand the business first. Anybody can get on a platform and you know, make the platform do what they want, but if you don't understand your core business, what your strategic objectives are, and how to accomplish that, it's not going to matter. You know, when I graduated from the business school across the street, I figured when I got out, I wanted to be a strategist. Well, you know what, they don't just grant strategy jobs to freshly minted MBAs. You have to earn that. And you earn it by understanding accounting and finance and marketing and public affairs and all of the things that make up the business. And only then can you start to grasp what strategy means and how different areas of the business are affected. And I think social, because social is touching more areas of the business than ever before, internally and externally, it's really, really important that people understand how all of these things work together.